Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio, still in October and in the backyard and I am going to set up a cup of paint starting with a ring pour style. I'm not saying I'm going to do a ring pour, but I'm saying very recently I've had extremely good luck using a ring pour cup to make something that I like even more than that. And now I'm just having a hard time making up my mind what color goes next. And I'm gonna keep grabbing stuff I like. Yes. Whoops. Wow, I didn't expect that to sink. That's my favorite color. Obviously it's time to make up some more. Sorry about my head. And I've been using Halloween colors and obviously I'm not doing that right now much. A little. That is not coming out of there as well as I would like it to. So I have another one that's similar and that will work. I was going to fill up two cups, but I'm thinking that I'm probably not going to do that right now. Let's give that one more little shake. Bunches of orange hanging around my table. Ooh. I'm not super impressed with how that looks in the cup, but I guess we'll find out. And I do add my squeeze bottles that are already pre-mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800 and the recipe under the video in the comments. Under show more. Open it up. So, I'm thinking about doing a chain pull and the way that I'm going to start this is the same way I just started it. Make sure that's dry. Except for one thing, I'm not going to do just black or just white. I'm going to do black and white if I can manage it. And this is my OXO omelette turning spatula that spreads paint like a charm and is available in that Amazon link, like I said, right under the video. If I said it in this video or the next. They're all sort of blending together, not the painting so much as the words. Anyway. Thank you for hanging in with me. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. We're headed for uh, 30,000 right now. And I think this is October 15th, 14th or 15th. The days blend together a little too. So hopefully, if I put my glasses on my face, I'll really be able to tell the difference. Oh yeah, <laughs> between white canvas and white paint. Now I don't need a ton. It's warm today and it will dry the paint out, but I don't need a super heavy layer. I do think I'm going to use the lamp chain and I'll probably use some skewers. And I'm going to start with a ring pour method on the canvas, but not necessarily in a, uh, a ring pour style that much. Anyway, this is going to be self-explanatory as soon as I can get this paint off of the spatula. I have a smaller one too. I recommend buying the bigger one. It's less, less money and it works better for our purposes usually. So now I'm going to find my black and do the same thing again. If I can. Because I can. Now that I will just take that bead of paint and push it right toward that other batch that other white area. And black often doesn't cover perfectly the first time. Especially not when it's already very liquidous and hot out here anyway from being out sitting outside. But I'm going to give it my best shot. And you can see it's still working pretty well. And knock that paint right off. Push it toward where that's at. Someday I'm going to use that method just to make a painting. But this is not that day. I'm going to cover up my edges. Go in the other direction for a second. I kind of hate wasting time telling you guys to wait while I spread paint on canvas, but uh, it's the way it starts, so... Que sera, sera. <laughs> we do what we can because we can. If you're interested in the artworks from YouTube, when I get them all cut up, they will be among the listed artworks. 
on the album that has a link at the bottom of the video under the description to Facebook. I'm going to knock all that off. Nothing else matters. We've got paints and I'm going to reverse ribbon for some of this and then wonder what else I can get. I want, I've got some fugly pink. I need something, something a little different than what I can see. Ooh, I definitely need some more of that. And I'm going to grab some more of that blue and throw some different blue in there. I've got beautiful cells right in the bottom of my cup. <laughs> I'm just not so sure about what I've got on my canvas right now. But let's hope it's another example of me being able to do something with whatever I get. And let's just use every method possible. Starting with just scraping that right out with my Princeton Catalyst Art Tools. And because I'm not super pleased or unpleased with that, let's let's tip and see what happens. I can leave my paint thick sometimes when I want to because I use GAC 800. And that's by Golden and I put it in all of my colors. I'm going to let all that pull over there and travel right back. We've got some interesting cells going on in here. I don't really want to see them gone, but I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to keep them either. I have far more paint on this canvas than I anticipated. And I'm so far not done playing with it. It's a strange one, but it's got some cool stuff going on. So let's play with it. Let's see what happens. And we steal paint. Maybe if I start with something I think is a little fugly to begin with, I'll uh, feel freer to mess with the design. I really don't want to take away any of those fun cells. And there are some fun cells. I don't know that the black and the, the white beginning help me any. I'm not so sure the colors are helping me any either. But I always say that you're not stuck with stuff, so let's see if I can uns stick myself. That's not a bad start. I kind of have the idea that if I move some things around a little, agitated paint will often make cells. I'd like to rescue this from the land of the deed. Dum -da dum dum I didn't say that. It does seem a little out there and not my favorite yet. Yes, I did. I just blew that right into the painting. And it may not be the last time. Kind of like some white. Kind of like to pour a whole lot of this away and see what happens from doing that. We've got some interesting things going on. Maybe not as interesting as I wish they were. Um, I have an edge catcher right here and I'm seriously contemplating pouring a lot of that right away. Which is not something I usually do. I 
if I take my paint on my edge catcher, voila, and put it someplace sort of level, I might have a chance to keep it. <laughs> and um, I'm hating this a lot less than I was a minute ago, so that worked for me. And I'm not done playing with anything by any, any stretch of the imagination, so let's just start from where we're at. And move along. Yes, schmutzy sticks do work. All right, so I've got some great cells over here. I got some great cells a whole bunch of places. I am tempted to do a bunch of things, starting with checking out to see what's under there. Maybe throw in some white. I don't know which white it is. There's the white pearl. Just felt like it needed that break right there. Keep wiping my tools off. Maybe use the rest of that somewhere else. I'm okay with most of this. I'm not super thrilled about this pink right here. But maybe if I add some more everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. What to do with a misbehaving painting? Pour it off and have a go. I haven't stuck any beads in there and my temptation is to still do that. But we have such nice patterns some places makes it hard to want to mess with all of that. So let's do it anyway. I've got five minutes left. I haven't put much black in there. I know the pink sort of disappears unless it's around the white. So I'm going to push that right over. Keep wiping my chain off on my damp cloth. Maybe I'll just bring that a little closer so I don't have to stretch quite as far. I keep agitating some paint. Add some teeth to this thing. I do like what chain pulls do. Enamored is a good word for what I am. I think I need to be cautious and wipe that off and throw some black in there and see what happens. Actually, I've got Prussian blue and that will sell. And I like the way it looks too. But I have a lot of paint on this canvas. Back and forth and back and forth. And the only thing I don't think I have here is some red. And I think for some reason I'm being called to it. Some wild colors. I don't usually drag the chain all the way through, but I'm having a really good time. And I, this is kind of what I wanted to do anyway. I wanted to play with the chain. I want to cha play with it without all that goop on it, so I'm going to give it a moment. And wipe it off and dry it off with a paper towel and come back. See that Prussian blue with the deco art pouring medium and it makes some really nice cells. But I have so much paint on here. I should just have a whole batch of fresh chain. Yeah, I'll be cleaning up my workstation after this.
I just wiped out some pretty, really pretty cells over there, which is kind of too bad. But I'm having a good time other than that, for sure, for sure. And I'm so not done having a good time. I gotta be careful where I put my paint if I like the cells that are there, because they won't be there when I'm done. But I'm, oh yeah, I'm having a, definitely a good time. Hopefully I can catch this before I get too dry down in that corner. I think I might be getting a little more a little better with a chain. Hard to tell <laughs> this moment. Exactly. But I do love what's happening so much so. I wish I hadn't put that back on there. But I'm going to take some more of that red. I think we might run out of time. So whatever I haven't told you, you probably know from other videos. <laughs> I'm getting lazy. I'm, I'm more interested in working than I am. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Wow, cool. I want to be really careful. I'm going to let that go over the side first. lead it around like a chain. Oh my god, I'm having a good time. Wow. Okay, so whatever I was going to say, <laughs> you've heard it all before. There's a wet and dry artwork album, Facebook album of the YouTube artworks at the bottom of the description under the video. And if you want to see them, just click on the link. And there's prices. I do sell my artwork. We're hoping for a book for Christmas. No guarantees, but we're in the final stages of figuring it out. So there's a very good chance. Keep an eye out for it on Amazon. Just going to keep picking that up and change in direction. And I think that short of torching, no matter how weird that was before, I still got to play the way I wanted to. We have a minute left. Because I try and set my... I have 20 minutes before the camera shuts off. So I set it for 18 minutes. That way I have a moment to talk to you if I can find the time. I almost want to put some black in there. There are some very strange colors, but they're kind of working together right now. There's every color in there. There's not an overabundance of black, which is funny because we did start with some black. It will be taking a few minutes to uh, attempt to cover over the whoops. <laughs> to cover over the outside. If in doubt, fake it out. Edges. Try not to cook your paint. I use a torch to release the air bubbles because I shake my paint because it's all in pre-mixed squeeze bottles and the recipe is under the video in the middle of the description. Under the Amazon link, it says show more. Click show more and it'll show you everything I want to tell you. You can find my Instagram and my Pinterest. And any other information I might have wanted to share with you. And this is cool. I just want to keep playing with chain. That is some wild fabric or whatever. Only thing that I can see that bothers me even a little bit is the fact that that right there isn't like anything else around it. But that happens a few things, a few times. All right, so there's one spiral in there. Don't get upset with me. <laughs> and I'd like some more black, but I, hmm, really. All right, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, melting her brain as usual. And uh, please join me again. Thank you for all the contributions and the comments. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. I'm going to check to see.